Hello my fellow book lovers, welcome to today's video. I am actually, okay I say this every time I start a video about how excited I am to actually film this video, but honestly I'm always excited to film these videos so like I don't know why I have to say it. Maybe it's because I don't look like I'm excited or seem like I am, but I want you to know that I am bursting with joy. Even though that sounded so sarcastic. Anyways, okay let me just, let me just speak. Hello, welcome to today's video. I decided that I wanted to see how many pages... Okay, okay, I'm trying to word this right. It's technically how many books I'm able to read in a week. Essentially going to be a mood reading vlog, yes, but I'm challenging myself. I'm trying to see how many books I can read in a week as well as pages, okay? But this is gonna be a normal week for me. Like I'm gonna go to work. I work around like 30 to 35 hours a week at my job. It's gonna be normal work week. I'm gonna have to edit videos as well. So I want to see like how many books I like genuinely can read in a week where I'm like trying to read or like when I want to read like as much as I can, but not like forcing myself to read like so many books or, you know, trying to get through so many books. But either way, we're gonna be seeing how many books I can read this week, how many pages I can read this week. And it's gonna be a fun grand old time. And I'm not even gonna be purposely picking books like based off of like their page count or anything like that. I'm just gonna be picking up what I want to read and when I want to read it because that's how mood reading works. If you didn't know. Now, I don't know, like I said, I don't know what video videos, I don't know what books I'm gonna read in this video. The only books that I do know that I'm absolutely going to read in this video are two of them, okay? And let me give you a little backstory. The video you watched before this one, if you did watch that one before this, if this is your first time here, hello, welcome to my channel. If not, if you watched the video that I had literally just posted before this one, you would have seen that I read The Inheritance Games. I have never read this, this series before and I was super excited to start it because everyone raved about it. I remember like when I first started reading, like everyone talked about like this is one of the series that you had to read and I just never got around to it. So I decided I was feeling a little slumpy. I think I needed a change of pace in the type of books that I was reading. And I was like, you know what? Let's read a young adult like mystery. And this like, it has helped me so much get out of like my little slump that I was in. I don't want to say I'm fully out of it, but this one definitely helped. The two books that I'm definitely going to be reading in this video are obviously the continuation of that series. There's only three in it. And then there is books that are part of this universe that are coming out. Like one is already out and then there's another one coming out next year I think that I haven't read yet obviously because I haven't read the series but I don't have those yet but I don't plan on reading those right away I kind of want to wait and see how I like the rest of the series first like I said the other two books I am going to be reading is the Hawthorne legacy and then the final gambit that this is just a continuation on of what started in the first book um because the first book kind of left you on some of a cliffhanger and this one is the third one and I guess it will round out finish up the story and make everything worthwhile. I'm gonna start this series now. I'm super excited. I think it just jumps right in. Yeah. It's uh, the next day, obviously. I gotta go work out and I'm gonna go read when I'm walking on the treadmill. So I wanted to update you before I did that because obviously I'm reading. Last night, I actually ended up getting to page 206. It's more than halfway through this book so far, so I'm really excited about it. I'm actually really, really enjoying it so far. Like just enough amount of like mystery to like to keep you entertained and keep you going. Even though I feel like, like not that not nothing is going on because there's always something happening happening it's always something that they're like talking about or discussing or trying to figure out some type of clue that they're going up on but it's obviously like a very repetitive what am i trying to say it's a very repetitive like sequence in like the way that the events are playing out and like things that are happening just because it is young adult i feel like that is kind of common within them is like it's to be like more of like okay like simpler but also still to keep you entertained which i actually really do like because i like that it's so simple that i'm still entertained because like kind of trying to come out of a book slump like i feel like that's just what i needed like there was so many no brain romances that i had been reading that just like no brain power was happening whatsoever to get me invested whereas this it's like i have to use a little bit of brain power but it's still so simple that I can easily like keep track of like what's going on and like pay attention and then still feel like I'm not gonna miss anything. So happen to just like lose focus for a second, if you know what I mean. So I really, really do love this series so far. It is, it's just so fun, okay? Like it's, it's just like a fun little time that I'm having. And I really don't wanna put it down. Like when I'm reading it, I do not wanna put it down. So like, that's a good sign. I'm going to go to the gym and work out, but I'm gonna read. So I wanted to update you so far, even though it's literally only Monday. I have read 200, 
106 pages. By the time that today is over, I'll probably have finished this book and start with the next one. It's the next day. I actually ended up finishing the Hawthorne Legacy last night. I read from page 206 to how many pages is this? 358. So I read over 100 pages. I am not good at math. I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna try. I have read in total 358 pages this week. I'm gonna I'm gonna head to the gym this morning, and I'm actually gonna bring the second and the third and final book in the Inheritance Games trilogy. This is the final gambit. This is, like I said, the last one. I don't know what this one at all is about. The Hawthorne legacy didn't leave off on any cliffhanger, so like it didn't make it seem like there was a need for a third book or like what was gonna happen in the third book. So yeah, like the, the second book made it seem like it was just an ending. And then there's this one. I don't know, maybe this one will be about how like she's coming up on her year, like at time jumps or something. Either way, that doesn't really matter. I'm gonna bring this to the gym with me and start reading it. And this one is 374 pages. Hello you guys, welcome to the next day. I haven't updated you since yesterday. Honestly, I don't even remember what I updated yesterday, but I read 82 pages yesterday in the final gambit and Today, actually, I have read, not a lot, but I've read a little bit of, give me a second. I had work this morning. After work though, I did a spin class and I ended up reading, well, I didn't do a spin class. I sat in the spin, the spin room and read. And I ended up reading Curse of the Wolf King while I started it. This is a part of the Entangled with Fae series. And this is the Beauty and the Beast retelling. This one's actually the first book in the series. They're all interconnected standalones. Yeah, you can read them by themselves, but honestly, reading them all together is just, I feel like better because I, I've read the, the second one first. I read Heart of the Raven Prince. I absolutely loved that book. That one was so good. And now I'm starting with this one, but honestly, I feel like I'm gonna get a lot more backstory into some of the characters of Heart of the Raven Prince in here, which would have helped me I think make more sense of that book and get more into it. But so far I am liking this one. This one is the, like I said, the Beauty and the Beast retelling. How many pages did I read? Let's check. Yes, I'm on chapter four. I read 27 pages of Curse of the Wolf King so far. Like I said, I'm really liking it. I am dressed this way. I'm gonna read a little bit before because my goal is taking me to the movies. I'm gonna finally go see It Ends With Us, okay? I haven't seen it yet. And I've just been, I've been avoiding all the little clips and the spoilers because I really wanted to see it in person. So yes, Michael's gonna take me to see that movie tonight. But before I go, because we're not gonna go see it until a little bit later, I'm gonna read. I'm probably gonna read the final game, but actually rather than Curse of the Wolf King, because Curse of the Wolf King will definitely be my cardio book, whereas I'm super still into this series. I actually just found out that her newest release called The Grandest Game, a new series she's starting, with these characters again. So I think The Grandest Game is going to be like another, like obviously it's a, it's a series, but it's gonna be like not necessarily surrounding the normal characters in this book, but I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea. I don't even know why I started speaking about it because I know nothing about it. So anyways, okay, I'm gonna read for a little while while my hair dries so that I can blow dry it. I'll see you later. I don't know what to tell you. Hello, back in the same spot as always. I actually never updated you yesterday on literally anything, but I actually ended up finishing The Final Gambit by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, and I really liked it. For some reason, this one just, I felt like didn't keep me as entertained throughout until like after the halfway point. Like after the halfway point, like so many more things ended up being revealed that kept me more entertained than the first part of the book. But the first part of the book, I kind of, not that I was bored, but I was like not feeling it. I almost was like, what's the point of this book? You know what I mean? But then after the fact, I ended up really, really liking it. So I finished, how many page? I don't even know how many pages that is so far. So this book was 374 pages, okay? And the Hawthorne Legacy is how many pages? 352. I can't do math. Well, I can, but just not off the top of my head. Okay, 352 plus 370, 
six, right? See, this is how bad I am. 368. 368 equals 720 pages plus, I'm not sure how many pages, 27 plus the 27 pages on my Kindle. So today's Saturday, actually. So honestly, this is like a really slow reading week for me. To be quite honest, I usually read at a much faster pace than this, but I don't know what it was. That last one, like the final gambit, took me forever to read. Like it took me days. I don't know why. But considering the Hawthorne legacy took me a day and a half, um, and the only reason it took me a day and a half was because, granted I had to work. I had work. Like this is a normal work week for me. Well, actually it wasn't. I did actually work more than usual. Either way, so far I have read 747 pages. Now, I do have the rest of today and tomorrow to read. I guess the question is, what is that going to be? I have two options. Well, realistically, I have more than two options. I can either Curse of the Wolf King, which is what I'm leading towards. I think this is probably what I'm going to end up reading because I don't think I have a book that is short for me to like fly through, you know what I mean? As well as like on my physical TBR, I don't have one. Like I've been really wanting to read something different and like switch up the genres a bit, but I don't have anything I think short enough that's going to do that. Possibly catching feelings, but honestly, I don't even think that's short. Summer Romance, this is one of her longer books. Next of Kin, which is down here. I don't think, I'm really not in the mood to read that. I looked at the back of it and I was like not interested in that right now. That's all I have. Um, well, not all I have. I literally have so many other books over here on my physical TBR, but I just don't know what it is I want to read. I think I'm going to end up doing Curse of the Wolf King because honestly, I'm actually, even though I haven't read that far into it, I am enjoying it. This is a Beauty and the Beast retelling and this is the Entangled with Faye series. I know I talked about this series in another video because I read the, another book of this in another video. I read it in my reading only Disney retellings, video. This whole series has like prequel series and then like series after it. So if you want to get into some like really fun like fantasy stuff where it's like easy to digest um, because it's kind of a story you already know, highly recommend this series. It's also really fun. So yeah, just wanted to update you really quick. I'm not going to read anything right now because I'm actually finishing up a video that I need to take a thumbnail for. Hey guys, it's much later. It's a much later update as well. It is like 6.30 right now and I've been reading The Curse of the Wolf King. I'm on page 144. It's going really well. I'm about 36% of the way in. I'm really enjoying it. I really do like this twist on this story. I really like the first book that I read by her too with the twist on the Cinderella story. I'm just excited to see where this one goes as well because I am really liking it so far because obviously it's not the traditional retelling of Sleeping Beauty, not Sleeping Beauty, Beauty and the Beast. There we go. Not the traditional retelling, but I really like it so far. So yeah, it's going really well. I haven't like filmed me reading it or anything like that, but that's all you need to know was that it was going well and that I'm 144 pages in. So either tonight or tomorrow, I will let you know how far and how many pages I have read today. So I actually just finished Curse of the Wolf King, which makes my total up to, I don't even know. I don't know. I'll do a tally at the end of this entire video of like all the pages that I read. So I just finished that. And today is the last day actually for this challenge. So I'm desi deciding, deciding on if I want to leave it there and call it like a day and this be it. Or if I want to read a novella because I have a novella picked out on my kindle called trick play it's a hockey romance fake dating by veronica eden it's within the heston u hotshot series which is a series i have started but this is like a prequel novella that i think came out after or before. i don't know when it came out but i just know i didn't see it when i read the first book but this is just like a little prequel and it's short it's like 149 pages i may read this because it's only 150 pages you know like why not why not just boost my numbers anyways so i think i'm gonna read this and then that'll probably be it like this will be the book that i finish off on for this video i'll update you guys either later tonight or tomorrow whenever i get to it i just want you guys to know that i am not having a good hair day 
in the slightest. I, I need to do it. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I need to. Anyways, hello, it's the next day and the end of this video. So I actually, not actually, I did. I did finish reading everything that I was gonna read this week. Let's tally up the amount of pages that I read because that was the goal this week is to see how many pages I could read and I didn't do that. Well, I kind of did, but then I stopped because just the ma mathing was just not happening. So let's just, let's first just talk about the books I did read in this video. First book I read in this video was The Hawthorne Legacy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. And this book was, how many pages? This book was 352 pages. Second book I read was The Final Gambit. And this one was 368 pages. And then I read Curse of the Wolf King, 356 pages. And then I read Trick Play by Veronica Eden, and this one was 149 pages. Now, let me go back because I don't think I actually ever talked to you about Curse of the Wolf King. I know I talked to you about it a little bit while I was reading it, but then I never ended up giving you like a full on like explanation of the book or anything like that. I really ended up liking Curse of the Wolf King. It was such a good retelling of Beauty and the Beast. Like it, like if you didn't, kind of know it was a Beauty and the Beast retelling, you wouldn't have thought that, you know what I mean? Like if it doesn't, if it didn't say Beauty and the Beast retelling, I don't think you would have picked up on the fact that maybe it's a Beauty and the Beast retelling. Like that's how good and like different she made it to where like it still followed the general storyline of Beauty and the Beast, but also like different enough where like, if you didn't like really make the connection, I don't think you would have known. The only like dead giveaway was that, you know, the rose that, you know, happens in Beauty and the Beast happens in this book too, that there's like that final rose it was probably the only dead giveaway within the book that the same. Um, but yeah, I ended up really, really liking it, especially towards the end where I got like a little bit more invested because I wanted to see the way that she was going to wrap up the story and make it happen. Like, obviously I knew what was going to happen. Like I knew how the book was going to end in a way, but I didn't know exactly like how she was going to do it and how she was going to end it. So I really, really, really loved the ending of the book and the way that she made things happen. But like I said, it was fun. If you're looking for like an easy fantasy read, this is definitely a good series to get into. This series has a bunch of series connected to it. That's something I was saying. I know I said that. I don't ever think I finished that thought. This series here has to do with a lot with like Faye and everything like that. So a lot of the characters are either like Faye characters or humans. And a lot of the Faye characters apparently are seen in some of the prequel books because they, they live for such a long time that you kind of get to see them a little bit um, in a different context earlier on in their life before this romance fantasy novel. You know what I mean? I would eventually love to read those as well. I know there's a d bunch of different ones. Like she has a bunch of different series connected to this one. And I think they're all prequel series. Now I don't think they're hard to like navigate or anything like that, but if you are looking for like a super easy fantasy to get into because you've never read fantasy before, um, I highly, highly recommend the Entangled with Fae series because they're based off a of fairy tale. So you already know the magic system isn't like complex or anything like that. Um, it's very like very easily explained to you, especially within this book. This is technically, not technically, it is. This is the first book within that Entangled with Fae series. I personally didn't read this book first. I ended up reading Heart of the Raven Prince first, but even reading that one first, I still, it was very easy to understand the magic system and understand the story with it still being different from the original fairy tale. So if you're someone who is like looking to get into fantasy and you don't know what to read yet and you are kind of intimidated by other fantasy series that are out there that everyone recommends, I do recommend this one because this one, like I said, if you know the fairy tales, like if you've seen the Disney movies, you know the fairy tales. Very easy concept to grasp. They're very entertaining books. They're different enough where you don't feel like you're just like reading the same book or it's just like a repeat, like a legitimate like play by play of the Disney movie, which is really nice, which I really, really liked. I will say that Heart of the Raven Prince so far is still my favorite in the series. Maybe it's because it's the first one I read, but I don't know. There was just something about it that I really liked. I just really liked that one. I don't think it's because I've ever really seen a Cinderella retelling. Don't think I ever rated any of these books. Did I tell you guys a rating on any of them? Anyways, let me do that. And then I'll go into the last book, The Trick Play. <laughs> I think I ended up giving both of these a four stars and that's just like right now. I, I don't know what I feel like I'm going to rate this book. I feel like this is definitely like a, 
This is definitely a four star series. I wouldn't say it's a five star series. It also could be because I am in a reading slump or was in a reading slump while reading these books. I can't tell if I'm still in one because I was like actually excited yesterday after finishing Trick Play. And while I was reading it, I was so giddy and I didn't want to put it down. I was really into it. And then I kind of was like, okay, so what am I going to read next? So I feel like I might be out of my reading slump. I don't know. But anyways, this is definitely like a four star series. It, it could be also because of my age, like that I just don't necessarily connect a lot to the books, but I did really, really like these. I think I ended up giving all three books four stars. Don't know how accurate that is, honestly. That's just my ratings. Am I really gonna think about these books again a lot? Maybe like slightly I'll think about them just because they were fun and entertaining, but otherwise, I don't know. I don't think so. If anything, I'll definitely give the first one four stars because that one was super entertaining. I really, really enjoyed it. This one, probably end up giving like a 3.5 and then again, probably like a 3.5 or a 3.75 for the final gambit because I was bored during the first half of this book, but then the ending really, really got me, like not got me, but like picked back up and like really, it was really entertaining. So this one I would say is like the least in a way entertaining, but I did really like this one. But that, that's my rating. That's my rating for these. My rating for Curse of the Wolf King is going to be a four stars without a doubt because that one is such like a good, fun, easy read. I just really, really liked it. Okay. I really, really liked it. And I think it deserves the four stars. Okay. Like it was super entertaining. Like I said, in a reading slump. So the times that I put the book down, like it wasn't its fault. It was my fault because I just kept getting distracted about everything else around me. By the end of it, I literally didn't want to put it down. Like when I got to probably like the 60-ish, 70-ish percent mark, I literally like didn't want to stop reading it. I didn't want to put it down in any way, shape or form. I just really wanted to keep going because the romance was, was getting me, okay? And then the last book I read was Trick Play by Veronica Eden. And let me tell you, this book had me giggling and kicking my feet and making me smile. This book got me. This is got this this really like I don't know what it is about hockey romances. There's just something injected into them that like literally get me. I absolutely love this one. This is again, it's a novella though. Um, it's a prequel novella to the Heston Yu Hotshot series. The name of the series just is so funny to me, but it's actually really good. Like I actually like love them. Like this isn't, she is an India author, but honestly, like it eats, like it really does eat. So <laughs> I am going to give this one again, like I'm going to give this one a four stars because of how much it made me giggle and laugh. And like, I don't know, let's like 4.25 stars, 4.25 stars because of how much it made me giggle and laugh and like the butterflies and like just the like warmth I felt. Um, in my chest when I was reading it, <laughs> it had me cracking up. I didn't want to put it down. Didn't want to put it down. It didn't take me that long to read because it, it was only 150 pages, but still. I absolutely loved this this one. It was so good. I highly, highly recommend the series. I think I'm actually going to start a TikTok series. I broke girl's guide to reading um, and I'm going to use this series. as like one of the first series in that. I didn't even get to the part that I was supposed to be at, which is how many pages I read. Okay, we got very off track. We got so off track, okay. Let me do the math. Let me do the math really quick. And in total, I ended up reading 1,225 pages within this entire week, which honestly, I feel like it's pretty low for me. Could be because I'm in a slump, because I keep saying it. Pretty sure it's because I'm in a slump. I feel like that's pretty low for me because I felt like it took me a really long time to read the final gambit. But also again, like, like I said, this was a normal work week. I worked, I actually worked a little bit more than usual this week at my job. I usually work about like 30 hours a week. And then this week I ended up working, I think about 35. So I did end up working a little bit more than usual. And I actually had a three day weekend, which was surprising. Well, it's because I worked so much during the week. I had a three day weekend. So I had more time to read during the weekend. And I ended up finishing a book yesterday and a book two a book yesterday and reading a whole novella. So I guess, I don't know. I don't know, but that's beside the point. This is, I feel like this has been going on too long and I just need to wrap up this video. So I finished this week off with reading 1,225 pages and I ended up reading three full books and one novella, which either way is still pretty good on average, okay? I read a decent amount of books this month while being in a reading slump. And I think that's like the biggest thing that like, is getting to me. Okay, I still don't know how I did that, but either way, that's gonna be it for this video. 
I've been going on talking long enough and I'm sure you're done listening to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you read any of these books or if you enjoy them because I would love you to because I ended up really liking all these books. Please, please, please let me know if you do because that'd be great. Again, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias as well as subscribing to my channel and I will see you guys next time. Bye.